runs to round each decimal to the indicated place value. In the first example, we are given 3.8726 and asked to round to the hundredths. Notice the given decimal has a seven in the hundredths place value. To the right of the hundredths place value, we have a two. Before we look at the formal rules for rounding decimals, let's use a number line to round the decimal to have a better understanding of what it means to round. To the hundredths place value, notice how the given decimal is between 3.87 and 3.88. Let's show these values on the number line to the right. We would have 3.87 here and 3.88 on the right. By rounding 3.8726 to the hundredths place value, we are really determining is the given decimal closer to 3.87 or 3.88. To help us locate the location of the given decimal and number line, notice how right in the middle of these two decimals, we would have 3.875, which means the given decimal, 3.8726, is going to be between 3.87 and 3.875, almost right in the middle, let's say approximately here. Notice how the given decimal is closer to 3.87 than it is to 3.88, which is why the given decimal rounds to 3.87 when rounding to the hundredths place value. In this case, we would say the given decimal rounds down to 3.87. Now let's look at the formal rules for rounding decimals. Number one, we identify the round off place digit, which is the seven in the hundredths place value, and the two to the right is a decision maker. If the digit to the right of the round off place digit is less than five, we do not change the round off place digit. If it's five or more, we increase the round off place digit. So because two is less than five, we do not change the seven. And then in either case, we drop all digits to the right of the round off place digit, meaning we drop the two and the six, which does give us 3.87. For the next example, we're asked to round the given decimal to the thousandths place value. Notice we have a five in the thousandths place value. To the right of the five, we have a six. Using the number line, to the thousandths place value, the given decimal is between 6.245 and 6.246. Let's go ahead and label those on the number line. We'd have 6.245 and 6.246. By rounding the given decimal to the thousandths place value, we are really determining if the given decimal is closer to 6.245 or 6.246. To help us find the location of the given decimal on the number line, right in the middle we would have 6.2455, and because our decimal is 6.2456, it's going to be to the right of 6.2455, let's say approximately here. Because the given decimal is closer to 6.246 than it is to 6.245, the given decimal rounds up to 6.246. Looking at the formal rules, we identify the round off place digit, which is the five. The digit to the right is a six. Because we have a six, which is five or more, we increase the round off place digit by one, meaning we change this five to a six. And then step three, we drop the remaining digits to the right which does give us 6.246. For the last example, we're asked around 19.45 to the tenths place value. Notice the given decimal has a four in the tenths place value, and to the right, we have a five. To the tenths place value, 19.45 is between 19.4 and 19.5. Right in the middle, we would have 19.45, and notice the given decimal is the decimal that's right in the middle between 19.4 and 19.5. Let's go ahead and label it. Notice how the given decimal is the same distance from 
as it is from 19.5. So whenever the value lies right in the middle, the rule is to round up. So we say 19.45 rounds up to 19.5. Going back to the formal rules one last time, the four is the round off place digit. To the right we have a five, and the rules say if the digit to the right is five or more, we increase the round off place digit by one. So we change the four to a five, and then step three, we drop all digits to the right of the round off place digit. So we drop the five in the hundredths, giving us 19.5. I hope you found this helpful.